Hello, and thanks for your interest in my course on building a user registration, login, and content management system with PHP. If you've been following my other courses on web programming for GIS applications, this one will be a little bit different, and it doesn't have anything specific to do with maps or mapping. But it is an important component for building web GIS applications. Because what we're going to do in this course is show you how to control access to your web pages. And a web map is just a web page. So we're going to develop a system that allows users to register themselves, and then once they're in the system, they can log in. And when they log in, you'll be able to assign them to different groups that you've created, and the content that they have access to will be dependent on which groups that you've assigned them to. So if you don't want them to have access to a specific web page, you just don't assign them to the group that has access to that web page. And to make this all work, you're going to need to have a little bit of background in web programming, and a little bit of background in databases You'll need to know a little bit of HTML and CSS, a little bit of PHP and SQL. Fortunately, you can get all that information in my course that's available on Udemy called Introduction to Web Programming for GIS Applications. It's not a strict requirement for this course. You'll be able to sign up whether you've taken that course or not, but I will expect you to have that level of knowledge. So what we're looking at here is just a generic kind of web page. It just has some generic text on it for a company called Imaginary Environmental. And this is the application that we're going to develop in this course. And so at the end of the course, you'll be able to customize this and put your own content in, put your own web pages in here. So this will be the public information that's available on your web page. But then there's also going to be content that's not available to the general public. And if the user wants to access that, they'll have to register. And they can enter their own information. Once they do that, they'll get an email that's sent to them with a link to activate themselves. And when they click on that link, then they'll be able to log in. And once they log in, then they'll see all of the information that they have available to them. So these darker lines in this table are the different groups that they have access to. And then within those groups is a list of the pages that that group has access to. So you may end up having different projects, and maybe for each project you have a site that your clients can access to see their data. You might have a site that you allow your field staff to come in and edit the data. And you might have a site that just allows your staff to view the data and search it and things like that for project managers and those kinds of people who just want to be able to see the data without actually be able to make changes to it. And then the admin of the site, I mean, they'll be able to see all the users. They'll be able to activate and deactivate them, edit and delete them. They'll be able to see all the groups and they'll be able to manage the users for those groups. They'll be able to delete or edit a group or add a completely new group. And then the same thing for your web pages. So each web page that you create, You'll assign to a group, and then once it's assigned to a group, the members of that group will have access to that page. And nobody else who's not a member of that group will be able to get to it. And so this is a fairly generic system. And even though I think for a lot of applications, this template, just as we have it, will be sufficient to meet their needs, my hope is that at the end of this course, if you need some other functionality, you'll understand the process enough that you'll be able to modify it to meet your own specific needs. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in developing, I hope you'll sign up for the course. It's available right now on the Udemy platform.